Fancy a trip up the Wicklow Mountains to see the splendour of the early Irish Spring? Well, don't use the Sally Gap. Over 100 people have had to be rescued from there in the past few days because of a thick layer of ice and snow. Brendan Byrne lives close by and has had to do some of that rescuing. Uh, and he joins us on the phone now. Brendan, good morning to you. Good morning, Gavin. Tell us what's been happening over the weekend there. Well, we've had a um, decent bad weather. Um, I'm also a member of the Glen of Amal Mountain Rescue. And we are the people who respond to people who get stuck in their vehicles up in the mountain. Uh, if somebody calls 999, the car is passing on to ourselves. And we go up to take the people out of the vehicles. Uh, I just stress that we do not recover vehicles people that were taken out because of the potential danger of hypothermia. And you've had to take quite a number of people, over a hundred people over the last 48 hours or so? Yeah, it's been a very high number this weekend because the weather combined with cold conditions and then snow on Saturday afternoon, a film of ice about 50 millimetres, that's nearly two inches, on the roads up and around the Sally Gap area, basically turning the roads into a sheet of glass. When the snow came on top of it, it looks like it's just a layer of snow, but unfortunately that ice is causing vehicles to slide off the road. Is the road not closed, Brendan? No. Um, unfortunately, there are no signage or any kind of warnings to tell people that the, the roads are in, in a bad way. So what happens is people tend to end up driving up there and uh, getting stuck. And tell us about some of the people that you've met up there, because... Is your car? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I want to put it in a bit more, right? If you find the kids in the club and fucking push it down the hill. to their cars and buses because they're all still stuck up there because the, the weather hasn't really got any warmer over the last, the last day or so. Yeah, there's, there still would be more than 20 vehicles stranded up and around the Sally Gap area. Now, there are a couple of vehicles that will get up there eventually when the snow and ice starts to melt. But the unfortunate incidents that have happened in the past also, and people need to be aware if they do go up there, vehicles do get vandalised and in some cases get burnt out. So not only do they get stranded and they're putting themselves at risk, they're also putting volunteer mountain rescue teams at risk. They may also lose their vehicle. Good advertising for Mitsubishi, isn't it? Huh? It's a good advertising for Mitsubishi. Oh, I tell you, one of the best ones. <laughs> yeah. An old air. Yeah. yeah. If we take it out, we go through it and can't see it. Huh? What would you say to people whose, whose cars or buses or otherwise are still stuck up there? Because um, I presume it's still 
too early to go and get it back, but what, after what you've just said, they'll be worried about leaving it there any longer. Well, Gavin, can I give you an incident? Um, as, I, as I said, I live very close to the Sally Gap. Uh, I walked up there yesterday evening just to, to, to see what was going on. There was a recovery vehicle up there trying to retrieve a van that had got stuck. This was a bit lower down. And while they were there, a car came over and slid down the gap and crashed into the recovery vehicle. Mm. So even last night, there were still people going up there. So leave well alone for another day or two, yeah? Yeah, the, the, weather, the weather forecast is for this cold snap to last until the weekend, possibly into early next week. Um, so there aren't going to be any changes up there for the next few, three to four days. Brenton, thanks very much for speaking with us. Brenton Byrne uh, from the Den of the Mile Red, Red Cross uh, Mountain Rescue Team and its messages, even if your car is still up there, leave the Sally Gap alone for a few more days.